Hi folks, and today we're going to look at the Blue Coats North vs. South, which is actually a remake of the 1989 classic on the Amiga North and South. I absolutely adored that game, which is nearly 30 years old, and I'll tell you how much I loved it. I actually went out and bought that game three months before I got an Amiga, because I'd seen it somewhere else, I'd seen it being played, I fell in love with it the moment I saw it, and I bought it in a shop in case I couldn't get hold of it when I finally saved up and got the Amiga. And you know what? It's one of my most favourite all-time games. And when I saw this for sale on Green Man Gaming in a bargain, what seemed like a bargain price of about £1.60, I just jumped at it and bought it. All the screenshots looked the same, but with updated graphics, the maps, the fighting looked identical. Oh, I was going to be in for a good time going back down memory lane. But guess what? This has been the biggest disappointment of all time. Because, you see, it's not just a remake of the original. It's a carbon copy, but without the good bits. Wasn't that a genius decision by someone to do, eh? Let's go and make a remake. Let's copy a game that was highly successful, but will leave their best bits out. Yeah. Well, let's go and take a look how it plays, and I'll explain exactly what you're missing out on. Okay, then, let's give this a go. We're going to a solo game. You want start off. Off we go. I'll play as the North, I think. I'll have the computer control in the South. So far, this looks very similar to the 1989 original, just with updated graphics. Same options for difficulty. Same graphics as well. Yeah, all right. Yep. Okay, let's just have a quick look in the advanced. We'll leave arcade battles on. Huh, arcade battles. That, that is a joke. And we'll see why in a moment. Also, weather effects, Indians and Mexicans, and reinforcements from Europe. Yep, we'll leave it all turned on. They're all, all there from the original. And I even add, you can still tickle a photographer's backside. Although, I have to say, in the original, he had a very dirty laugh when you did it, which was a little bit funnier than that. So anyway, let's get into a game. Different starting locations, or times, I should say, which do affect the map. We'll start in 1861. In April 1861, the South starts hostilities when it seizes Fort Sumter. The armies start to amass. The chances of winning are evenly balanced between both sides. Anything is possible. Well, let's see if anything is possible. So this map, this map is pretty much a carbon copy of the original game's map. And the way it works is almost a carbon copy, except that it's got a lighthouse in Virginia. I don't remember that being there, but that is the port where reinforcements come from Europe. So the objective, of course, is to control the forts and the railroad in between them. But it doesn't seem to matter controlling the railroad. You still get paid as the train runs along the tracks, which gives you cash. And this is something that is different. It now has a shop, whereas previously, once you amassed five bags of gold, you got a new army to plonk on the map. Now you can buy one for three, but you can also buy extra artillery rounds for the battle, extra pistol shots for the fort fights, and those are crap, and we'll see why in a bit. Extra lives, weather protection, cavalry protection. I suppose you can't really fault them for putting extra stuff in, but it's... Uh, I think all the extras seem unnecessary. It's just buy soldiers seems to be the way to go. Anyway, let's see what the South will do with their turn. They'll no doubt try and control the forts as well. And the storm cloud, if you start your turn under that, then your side can't move. And this is bad news. This, <laughs> I will say that this is just like the original. This was completely random. Uh, the Indians decide to attack, and there you go. They've chopped one of my soldiers off the board altogether. Well, you know, it's a feature that was there. If you like your games being decided by completely random dice rolls, then, you know, they're there. And the Mexicans do the same, but for Texas. Otherwise, you can turn that off, I suppose. Let's buy some new soldiers to replace the ones that were just chopped up. And we'll go and take another fort, because taking forts is a good idea. And I don't think I can get down in time to get the port, unless they move out the way. There we go. South getting some money in. And they'll no doubt buy a new army with that as well. Yeah, here we go. So this, so far, works just like the original. It's just got slightly different graphics. 
Uh, and apart from the shop being slightly different as well. But we're going to have a fight in this in a moment. Oh, way up. I'm, I'm outnumbered two to one now, which isn't particularly good. Let's see if I can buy some more troops with the train coming in. Here they come. Yep, three bags of gold. That's enough. All right, let's stick that in. And I will... I should really reinforce over there. Let's go for it. Let's combine those two. Get a bigger army to face off against that one. Now that's moved. I don't want to be in the situation where I can have two of those attack me at once. Shall we have a go? Let's have a go. This is what it's all about. Yeah, even that animation is just the same as it was before. Let's get everyone up there. Out the way, artillery. Out the way. No, no, get out. The artillery, get out the way. This is crap, by the way. This, look, everything's dead. This is point and click, and it is utter. Am I, am I just going to walk into the... Hang on. I'm going to get... I'm going to get chopped to pieces. This is utter, utter crap. It's just pure point and click. Let's move down here, then the cavalry can't get me. Before, in the old game, you used to be able to control your units with movement keys. You used to be able to move them about. You used to press the space button to fire. Whoop, move out the way, then bullets into the cannonballs. That's probably not a good idea. But look, you can dodge bullets. Or you can get you can get them to walk into the river. Okay, that's clever stuff. But this, this is just a mass point-and-click pile of shit, basically. When you were firing cannons before, you used to have to manually aim them. You'd hold the, the space bar down, which charged up the cannon, and that would determine the range the cannonballs went, and they flew faster than that. I mean, if you're going to do a carbon copy of a game, if you're going to remake it, and you're going to copy every single bit of it, why not also copy the bits that made the game the most fun, that made the game popular? This map, this isn't the bit that made the game. This was functional and fine. But it was the battles that made the game. Oh, and the, the fort attacks, which you're going to see coming up very shortly. Why, why change that? Why do a remake and not remake the best bits? I don't get that. That just seems crazy to me. Absolutely crazy. Right, let's see. Let's have a fight over here. In Maryland. Right, we need to get across this bridge on the double. And cannons, shoot them. <laughs> <laughs> that worked. Shoot them. Shoot them. You... Oh, man alive. This is just a stupid... And that cannon's dead because the, the cavalry's gonna... Why are you then disappearing off the edge? Come down here. Come down here. Out of the way. Walk over there. Yeah, the cannon's dead. The cannon's still dead. You shoot that. Duck! It isn't cool the way you can walk out the way of cannonballs. Can I walk out the way of that one? Yeah, no, stay down, stay down. Stay down, son, stay down. <laughs> this is... No, no, get out the way, get out the way of that. Is that coming my way? I just keep walking. Wow, okay. It's just frantically mass clicking, but... I'm winning it by avoiding the fights and manoeuvring so that they run off the edge of cliffs rather than shooting and fighting and everything else. And, well, you know, it kind of just sucks. Let's do a fort attack. So this basically is a case of shoot him, duck. And you have to shoot so many people before you can take the fort. I'm going to stand up in a minute. Shoot him. And him. Duck down. Duck. This. Get him. Do I, have to, do I have to reload this thing? I've got two bullets left. Let him shoot. Oh, reloading there. Come on, who's next? Ow. Mistime that and mistime that. It doesn't seem that, you know, if you mistime one, you can suddenly get killed twice in a row as you respawn. Now then, let me tell you how that used to work, because that used to be a million times better. Back in the old days, let me just buy this soldier. Let's stick him in there. Can I not put him in there? I'll put him in there and move him in then. Yeah, back in the old days, 
the fort attack used to be a platform game. You have to run along the levels of the fort, up on top of the wall, and you'd have to get to the end and raise your flag before the time ran out. And in your way would be barrels of exploding gunpowder, guard dogs, and enemy defenders coming to, to punch you off the walls. And it was absolutely epic. I loved it. And it just seems that they've absolutely just, just wrecked it. Which is just crap. Ah, no, get out the way, infantry. Get out the way. Let's shoot you. Okay. Shoot these guys coming across the bridge. Blow the bridge up. And do we send the cavalry in? No, we don't need to. Uh, it's just a mass frantic click fest. And it, it doesn't have any of the fun aspects of the original. Well, let's go again then. Go on, son. You can go across there. See if you can chop them up. No. Fail, 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 fail. Let's get out of the way. So what we're going to do is just going to go and stand our infantry down here. Shoot him. Or not. Right. And then we're just going to hide down the bottom of here. And what are they going to do? What are they going to do? Apart from that. <laughs> All right. Well, let's keep them guessing. Let's keep them guessing with that. Now, if I just walk across here... I do this now yeah they just they just run off the edge of the the map and I can't I can't follow them well they've run off but didn't give me a chance to chase them down and shoot them so basically this game sucks because it's it's a remake of something without the best bits of the original and that's just utterly utterly crazy let's just go and take that port I'll have the reinforcements thank you very much I'm gonna do this this fort attack we're going to play more carefully this time. Uh, oh, I should have shot him. Should have shot him. And bang! And I wasn't watching. Okay, who's next then? No. Duck. Duck. Out the way. Got ya. Got ya. Got you. Oh, we're on a roll here, folks. Duck. No, reload, keep keep your head down, keep your head down, son. I'm gonna have to stand up in a minute. Nope. Mess that up. Duck. Keep your head down. I got one left to do. Got him! Okay. So it's a different sort of minigame. And by the way, to, to crouch down, you press control, which I had to find by watching another YouTube video because I, nowhere does it tell you what to do. Well, I mean, it, it might be more fun if you'd never seen or played the original. But I bought this based on the screenshots and the graphics and everything that I'd found, uh, assuming that it was going to be the original or just a remake of it with newer graphics. Oh, God, that sucks. I've lost everything all in one go. Yeah, let's do the same old thing then. Let's hide the men at the bottom of the, the bottom of the, the map. And what? What happened there? Did they blow themselves up? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I do believe that was possible in the original as well. So maybe they're staying true to it. Uh, well, well, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Read of that what you will, folks. Anyway, let's get this over with. I have to destroy one army, and I think I just have to... Oh, there's a train attack as well. You can raid the other person's train. Now, let's see how this works. What do I do? So, I do that. I just... Do I just jump on the... Okay. All right, I just click the arrows. This, this is... This is um, highly entertaining. Wow. I mean, I know this is designed to go on mobile devices, but even so, they could have... They could have... I mean, I suppose that's more interesting to play when you're attacking the train. But that is just utter garbage. Well, unless... Oh, I can't move him either. Let's at least try and kill the last bad guy off. 
In fact, let's buy some more men. Stick him in there and instantly into a fight. Okay, well, let's charge them. Move, move, cannons. Dead. That's it, is it? They can't retreat from this. That's it. Done. Beaten them. Oh, so you don't have to take the last town then. Okay. Well done. Those cursed confederate scoundrels have finally surrendered after five months. Long live the Union. Hurrah. Long live Grant. Long live Lincoln. And long live the USA. And this end screen is very, very similar to the old one as well. So there we have it, folks. They have pretty much copied everything about the game apart from the best bits which they've replaced why do that i don't know such a disappointment i wish i'd looked into it a bit further before i just shelled out the whopping fee of about one pound sixty to buy this but that one pound sixty is a lesson well learned because i'll do a bit more research on any more games i buy